it's Zero at Review Zone HD, and today I'm bringing you a review for PUBG, also known as Player Unknown Battlegrounds, for the PlayStation 4. And to start with, just to get this out of the way, I have not played the PC version of this game. However, in the 11 days that I've been playing this title, I have put 50 hours into it, so I feel like I have a pretty good grasp to review this one. The footage used in this video was from day 10 and 11 of me playing, mostly in squad. I've also played a decent amount of Fortnite and H1Z1, and honestly, I'm not a Battle Royale fan. However, I made an exception for this title because I am a longtime SOCOM player, and this is the closest thing that you're going to get to SOCOM on the PS4, outside of maybe Rainbow Six or America's Army, but those are both first-person shooters. So for those unfamiliar with this game, you can play in first person or third person with a quick tap of the button. You can also scope in or pull in a tighter view over the shoulder with a quick tap of a different button. You can lean to either side to peek around corners and I've never seen a shooter with this many adjustments that you can make in the settings to your control speed and your scope sensitivity. You can actually adjust each scope individually, your two time, three time, four time, six time, eight time, and 15 times scope can all have its own individual speed, which is absolutely awesome. I love that they added that type of feature to this game. In other words, no matter what kind of shooter that you prefer to play or the speed in which you wish to play, you can generally find a setting and view to fit your playstyle. Personally, I love sniping. It's what I do in most of my games, and this game has a pretty steep learning curve when it comes to sniping with learning the distance, the bullet drop, and the speed in which each weapon is fired. But it's extremely rewarding once you learn all the guns and you get everything set up with the settings and start getting those kills. I would say this game is a lot more challenging than the other Battle Royale games that I've played. You know, Fortnite has that building aspect, which is his own challenge, but as far as the actual gun game in each one of the Battle Royales, this one is extremely well done. It's the best, in my opinion. Every attachment that you add to your gun, it really makes a difference that you can feel and see. There's also three levels of body armor for your head and body to absorb some of that extra damage, but you do still die with the quickness on here, even when you're fully geared up. The armor can absorb one headshot from a sniper rifle or one blast from a shotgun at close range. But the gun battles are still very quick, they're very lethal, and they're very intense because every bullet that's fired carries so much weight behind it. And there are plenty of places to hide on this game, so even running through an open field will get your blood pumping. As you're moving from one place to the next, the game can get awfully quiet, it'll lull you to sleep, and then one well-placed sniper shot into your back will really startle you, it'll wake you up, and it'll rattle even the coldest of gamers out there. I've played a lot of different hardcore shooters over the years, but that moment that a teammate goes down on here and you have only a few seconds to locate and put down the enemy to revive your teammate, or when you're opening a door or going up a staircase knowing that somebody's waiting for you on the other side, this game will make you sweat. It's definitely the most intense shooter outside of SOCOM that I've played. It does offer three different modes. There's solo, duo, and squad, similar to pretty much any other Battle Royale game. Graphically, this game looks a few years dated. The texture loads in sometimes when you're first hitting the ground. It's definitely a bit jarring. And when you first start playing this game for the very first time, the character movement can feel a little clunky until you get used to the controls. It does feature some pretty awesome ragdoll physics for some pretty hilarious kills. The sound is absolutely exceptional, especially when wearing headphones. You can clearly tell the direction and the distance in which gunfire is taking place. I would definitely say the sound is the best on this title among the Battle Royale games. Footsteps can be heard pretty clearly as well, so it's especially harder to sneak up behind those that are actually paying attention. Footsteps can be seen on the snow map, which that map just released a few days ago. In total, there's four maps to currently play on. There's a large grassy style map, a large desert style map, a smaller jungle map, which is my personal favorite, and then there's a medium sized snow map. You don't get much say in which map you can play on outside of picking the specific new snow map. The other three are randomly selected in a quick join option. I know everyone has their own taste and preference when it comes to shooters. I've played every type of shooter there is to offer on the PS4 and in my opinion, again, just to re-emphasize this, 
This is the best of the bunch for tactical and intense gameplay. I know Rainbow Six also falls into that category. It's an exceptional game, but I just feel like PUBG offers a little more in terms of variety and long-term playability. And it's especially nice for those of you that want to play in third person. You know, outside of the division, there's really not a lot of options when it comes to third person shooters. And yes, it does have silly cosmetic add-ons similar to either one of the two games I just named out. But I feel like in this game, they can be more easily obtained by just playing the game. If you're on the fence about this one, I would definitely recommend picking this title up for the $29.99 price point. It's definitely worth that price of admission. You don't need the deluxe or all the additional bells and whistle add-ons to get started on here. If you like the game, you can always add those on later. I hope you guys enjoyed the review. This is Zero at ReviewZone HD, and thank you guys for stopping by.